Hey, what's up, Fragrances? It's me, GRG Fertinas, and I'm finally out with a review. It's been a really long time, I know that. But today, I felt inspired. Nah, inspired, not inspired. <laughs> um, uh, what is it called? Well, I just had the energy to make a review. And probably because I like this fragrance a lot. Let me tell you a lot, I really like this one. And before I start getting all technical and stuff like that, Boss Bottle, number six. Um, the, I have smelled a lot of designer fragrances. Um, so, from all the designer fragrances that are still in production and, you know, are still selling in the stores, this is easily in the top ten. This is in the top ten. Um, it's just quality. It smells really, 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 really good. Um, so... Uh, let's get straight into this the boss bottle boss number six has been on the market for 10 years now it's it was made in 1998 so I think it's about 10 years um now I don't know the notes and anything like that uh, I have looked at them a couple times you know from smelling the fragrance and trying to pick up different notes in this fragrance so I'm just gonna tell you straight off the bat what do I get when I first apply this on my skin in the opening, I get green apple and vanilla. Um, I get the green apple at first. The vanilla, it comes in about after five minutes on my skin because it's like a creaminess. And also there's cedar lingering in the background. And when I say lingering, it's because once the dry, once the opening, um, you know, is done and you're getting into the dry down, the cedar comes up, it comes center stage, and the green apple and vanilla are kind of, you know, the notes behind the cedar backing it up. So you're kind of left with like a fruity, creamy, spicy fragrance. Um, so to be honest, those three notes are what I get uh, when I wear this fragrance. And cinnamon. That's what makes this fragrance, you know, spicy and kind of warm at the same time. Kind of like a calming effect, uh, if you know what I mean. Kind of like Gucci Purim 2, how it kind of has like this tea cinnamon vibe. Not that this has, not that this smells the same. This does not smell like that, but I'm just trying to give you an example. Um, so, in the opening you get like a green apple, vanilla, creaminess. Dry down, you get cedar with, you know, that fruity creaminess still there with a spiciness you know coming from the cinnamon but not too much it's just it's just right you know to blend it all together um, and this makes and that makes this fragrance really really nice um so definitely if you like fruity fragrances you know but not like feminine fruity like a feminine fruity fragrance you know a fruity fragrance that kind of has like you know a kick to it you know with a bit of spice some woods you know to make it smell manly this is the way to go this is a really nice choice from the designer from the designer side uh, it's it's really really nice so that's what I get on my skin when I wear this fragrance um I put this one in in the morning and it lasts me like almost all day when I say all day, I mean like, you know, when I put it on in the morning, I go to work, eight hour shift, I come home, and it's still on my skin, you know, I can still pick it up, well not me, but others can still pick it up, because I already got used to the smell, so I still don't know if I can smell it or not, but others can pick it up, uh, they tell me, you know, that I smell nice and stuff, so uh, longevity, I'll give it about eight hours, projection, uh, this projects pretty well for at least three hours four hours max on my skin like for the half of this fragrance this you know projects then for the other half um, I mean people still can smell it but not as much you know as the first four hours and compliment factor I wore this okay this is a sample I don't have the actual bottle I've been wearing this for about a month now and I got three compliments with this fragrance um, one was, you know, from a stranger in the store, you know, they asked me, you know, what he's smelling, he smells nice, so. And the other two were from, 
you know, co-workers. I, I work in the kitchen, but, you know, I still got to smell fragrance, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I put this on at work and two females at work told me that I smell really nice. So, I mean, those are compliments. Um, so yeah, three compliments with this one in one month. Pretty good. If I had this for a year, I'll probably get a lot more, but it's only been a month. So three compliments, compliment factor, really good. Um, now age group, this goes for all ages. High school kids can wear this, college, um, even, you know, older gentlemen, gentlemen, older, uh, like 30 and up can wear this up to like older people, like 50, 60. This is really versatile. Any age can wear this because it smells great. You know, it, it has everything in it, fruity, uh, woods, spices, so it's good. Seasons. A lot of people say this is for fall and maybe spring. I did well. I don't. I mean, I agree with that, but I think that you can actually wear this one in all seasons. You just gotta be careful how many sprays. Winter time, you can spray this uh, like four, maybe yeah, four. Let's keep it at four. Four sprays, uh, and in the fall maybe four. Spring and summer, try about two to three sprays like one on each side of the neck or both side both pulse points and like one on the chest for the warmer weather because this does have a spice in it you know with the woods so seasons all seasons you know you can wear this one all in all this fragrance I really like it uh, will I be buying this yes I will in the future um, price points and stuff like that I don't know go check it out online uh, online discounters the websites uh, you'll find this one for a pretty decent price pretty cheap too even if you find and you might even be able to find the tester on some sites awesome bang for your buck and really good quality fragrance this lasts so if I were to well if I were to rate this one because I don't like rating fragrances anymore but if I were to give it a rating, uh, I would probably give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, and that's really, really good because I'm going to start getting, you know, a lot more strict with fragrances because a lot of fragrances the past years are really shitty and crap. So I'm going to be start. So this is an 8.5. 8.5 is really, really good um, rating for me. So that was that, Boss Bottle, Boss Number 6. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope it didn't get too long, but hey, um, it's been a while since I made a video, and this isn't going to be edited, so <laughs> I'm sorry if it's if it took so long. And I'm happy if you got to the end of this video and you actually sat down and watched it all. <laughs> so that was that. It's me, GRG Fertinas. Once again, thanks for watching review boss bottle number six. Stay tuned for another review. I'm not going to be, you know, guaranteeing you that it's going to be soon or anything like that. But hey, who knows? It's summertime. I got a lot of energy and maybe I just might feel like making another video. Who knows? So stay tuned and hope you guys have a great day, great night, you know, whatever you're doing. Peace.